Hi guys. Um, as you can see, I'm sitting on the floor. It's a little bit weird, but it's going to get weirder in a minute. Um, this is my Winter Wonderland book tag, and I'm, I chose this because I wanted to film in front of my tree. Um, and it's going to be the winter solstice is in two days. It's Sunday, I think. And I, Kirk Christmas is on Thursday too. So I, that's why I chose to wear a white sweater. Um, to look a little bit festive for winter even though there's no snow out and I just it hasn't been looking like Christmas lately it always snows in like the first part of December when it's still fall um, and I also chose to to wear this <laughs> um, to, to the scarf I got from Air Pastel see it has snowflakes on it and it's red and I always wear this when there's snow up because it, it looks like Christmas and I just and I haven't been able to wear it because it has been snowing and I also have this because um, I know it's not going to be New Year's for another two weeks but I found this with the Christmas decorations and thought you know I think I'll wear this for, for my segment next next Friday so, so here we go <laughs> there's that um, and this was this is the Winter Wonderland tag. It was created by Jack Eats Books, and I'm I'm assuming that's a metaphorical appetite. Um, but uh, I'll add a link to the video um, in the description. And I'll also add the questions too. As you can see, I also have a cup of cup of tea with a little reindeer on it. Um, and uh, you know me and my my hot drinks for the for all these fall and winter segments. So I thought. Uh, cup of tea with the reindeer will 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 make a little bit um, look more like Christmas too so so uh, let's get to the questions all right so the first question is what book is so happy and sweet that it warms your heart and I chose when Christmas comes by Debbie McComer the thing about Debbie McComer is that she writes a lot of Christmas books and I've, I've already read two of them and uh, I figured, well, this is probably just going to end up the same happy way. It's there. There are parts about it that could be a little bit of bit of a downer, but she always writes a happy ending. So I know this is going to have a happy ending. As you can see, I'm in the middle of it. Um, I'm still reading it. This is actually a library book too. This isn't mine, but I thought it will work for this week's segment. And um, I just I know it's going to get to be a happy ending. So I'll just uh, this is more this is more of a prediction. So I'll use uh, use this one. Uh, the second question is show a book with a white cover and I chose The Christmas Kid by Peter Hamill, um, Pete Hamill and this is perfect for this segment because for this question actually because it's it's Christmas there's a little boy with a sled it's snowing there's snow all over it's and I like the I like the typing too um, it's and it just looks so so festive and so so nice and um, the, by the way this is actually a collection of short stories it's not one novel but it's a they're all written by him they're, some of them are very depressing I've, I've read a few of them actually and um, last Christmas and it's the they're, they're, they're kind of sad but uh, they're they're all they're all short stories and they're short stories that take place in Brooklyn too so um, so if you want to check this out, it's called The Christmas Kid by Pete Hamill, and uh, it's just like the perfect book for, for, this, for this question. Alright, the third question is, you're sitting in a chair with a onesie with a cup of hot chocolate, and what monster book are you reading? Alright, first of all, I haven't worn a onesie since I was probably a few months old. Um, I don't, and if, if Jack knows someone who knows, some, knows an adult who wears a onesie, then... Honestly, I'm a little shocked because that's just a little weird. Just, but I didn't create the question. It's just letting you know. And uh, also, the the when he means monster book, he doesn't mean fantasy or science fiction. At least that's not how I took it. I took it as as long and thick. Um, so I chose the Interestings by Meg Wolitzer. Um, this book is, uh, it's, yeah, it's long. It's 538 pages, and normally books I read are no 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 less than like three 
I mean, 400. I'll, I'll read a book that's in like the 300s. That's, that's adequate for me. Um, maybe 400 sometimes, but, but this was so long to get through. And, um, just a little bit of a confession. I've been listening to the audio book because, um, but I've, I've sort of been, uh, been pl uh, listening to the audio book and placing the bookmark, um, okay, you know, uh, after every chapter. And, um, uh, because the, the thing is this, I don't think this is easy to read. I, I'm glad I'm listening to the audio book because it's 538 pages and like 20 chapters. That doesn't seem like a good balance. Um, and so it's, it, for me, it's just not easy to read. Um, so I, I'm really glad I'm listening to the audio book and I've, I've had this for quite a while and I just, I'm, yeah, I'm, I don't think I'd have the patience to read this. So, so yeah, it's, it's the interesting it's by Meg Wolitzer and it's very, very thick. And, uh, it's, it's actually the book with the most pages that I have too. So, so yeah, I chose, I chose this one. Okay. The fourth question is it started snowing as if. And you want to have a snowball fight. Which character do you have a snowball fight with? Um, I chose Mitchell Grammaticus from The Marriage Plot. Um, I'm not into snowball fights. And I don't think he is either. He's too much of a shy kid um, to be to be into that kind of thing. So I figured if, uh, if, if it's just a corny snowball fight, you know, we're just playing, having fun. Then I figured, all right, yeah, I don't want to. I want to choose someone who's competitive, and I don't. I don't want to get pelted with snow either. So, so I. I think if it's just a a really corny one that's meant to just be kind of fun, stupid, then yeah, I figured. And besides, Mitchell. Mitchell's one of my buddies. He's my guy. Uh, he's he's a really good character, and um, you know, yeah. I doubt he's into snowball fights, and it's not my thing either. So it's just meant to be fun and corny. So I'll choose him. Question five is, the fire's about to go out, and which book would you tear the last few chapters out of to throw into the fire? And I, I'm, I'm not going to actually do this, I promise. But I chose I Heart New York by Lindsay Kelk. Uh, I, I, I've said this before. You probably know I have a bit of an issue with it. And I might have said why why I didn't like the ending before, but I'm gonna try to avoid um, try to avoid spoilers. Uh, I'll, I will say that I liked the book, I liked the story, the concept, the characters. That was all good, um, but I didn't like how it ended because the um, Angela was dating two guys, and she chose she chose one, and I wanted her to choose the other. But I'm not gonna. I'm not even going to say their names, but I'm not going to say what like what type of guys they are or why I wanted her to choose one over the other. I'm just going to say she chose she chose the one I I didn't want her to choose, and um, it's I'm not, I'm actually not going to tear the last few pages out of this. It's I'm going to keep this like it is, um, but I just wanted to let you know that just just for this question in a hypothetical sense, I would because I just didn't like how it ended. I wanted her to choose. The other guy, so, so, but it was a good book. I just didn't like the ending, so I'll get, I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. All right, question six is the last question, and that's, what book is so close to your heart that you would gift it to someone who hasn't read much and wants to get into reading? Um, I'm gonna uh, say in advance that I, I didn't read this book. Um, I have it. It's on one of my to-read lists, so I'm going to read it, and that's Pride and Prejudice. I chose this because um, I t tell you, I want my niece to read this because, but she, it's, I, I don't think I can, but that's another story. Um, I chose this because it's, I think it's uh, the book that you, that I first associate Jane Austen with, it's Pride and Prejudice, and um I don't know if it's one of her one of her most classics, but it, to to me this is always the book I first associate with her, and um, I think if you really want to be be intellectual, then you read this. Um, I know I'm one to talk, but I I plan to read this, so I you know at least I have a plan to, 
and it's 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 set up a little bit more complex to based on the writing style and stuff but but despite that it's it's a book I think everyone should read even if it's not that easy to read as something else it it's it, it would still be a great book to read. All right, that was the Winter Wonderland book tag. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, um, Happy New Year, and um, also ne next Friday segment will be on the 26th, so it'll be the day after Christmas. So I'm going to uh, try to think of something else to do for that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I... I, I don't know yet, but I'll think of something. And until then, I just want to wish you Happy Christmas, or Merry Christmas, uh, or Happy Christmas if you're in England watching this too, um, things like that. So, but you know what I mean. Um, if you're in England, then then great. Um, so, so yeah, um, have a good holiday and a Happy New Year. Even though you'll you'll I'll have one more segment before New Year's. I'm it's just because I'm wearing the New Year's thing. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next week.